Meteorologist Daniel McFarland, and you have been very busy because we have a special delivery coming up. Oh yeah, it's been a while mm -hmm. since we've had a snow chance I here in know. Tucson. It's going to be chilly. Yeah, now it's not going to stick if we do see that snow, but mm -hmm. it's going to be nice to see when it falls out of the sky and a lot of the city could actually see it if everything goes right. But as I mentioned before the break, the big thing we need to track here is, is there going to be enough moisture? As of right now, the radar is clear and we're looking at just a few clouds at the upper levels. I'll show you that in a second too, but as you can see, water vapor starting to work its way in, but this is the Area I'm concerned about. You do see this front starting to move in from the northwest like that. There's this nice little pocket of dry air right about here. And if that times out to be over Tucson tomorrow morning in between the hours of 6 and 10, that's going to be taking away not only our snow chances, but also our rain chances for tomorrow. When it comes to the cloud height, still very high. So remember, we really need that humidity to rise on up. And in turn, we need that dew point to be a tad bit higher. So our low temperature for tonight is going to be around 30 degrees. We're going to want this number to be closer towards the upper 20s to know that, that moisture is there for us and to also know that that rain chance is going to be there. That could be leading to some snow. So where are the most likely spots across Tucson to be seeing that snow? I'm looking at Vail for the absolute best chance across the city. And if you look over towards Tanca Verde, Sabino Canyon, Oro Valley, the foothills, those are the other spots I'm watching. I think if you get on over towards the west, of I-10, that's going to be where your chances fall just a little bit. If you're in Midtown, you also do have a small chance, but keep in mind higher values for the city of Tucson are going to be say around half an inch of snow at absolute most with not a lot of it sticking on the ground. In fact, there are some models keeping it away from the city itself, but if you live in a spot like Safford or even Wilcox or a spot like Bisbee or Tombstone Sierra Vista, it looks like those areas have a much higher chance to see potentially even a full inch of snow and later on in the day as well. So Tucson, we have a very well defined time during the morning for that snow chance and it's going to be between 6 and 10. But if you're over there near Safford or anywhere in Cochise County, it could actually extend on over into the afternoon if you hang on to that cloud cover and moisture like I talked about before. Now, of course, that's unusual to see temperatures that low for this time of year, but that's also where that snow chance is going to be coming in from. So after we're done with those snow chances on Monday, get ready for another cold night out there. 27 for a low. We already have a hard freeze watch that's going to be in effect that will eventually change into a warning I'd expect by tomorrow afternoon. Your temperatures will be around 55 for Tuesday afternoon and eventually warming up to 67 by the following Saturday. But keep in mind those nights are still going to be very chilly and that's going to be the case throughout the entire next week. But we should eventually get away from that freezing point towards the middle of the work week and by the weekend looking a little bit better for those overnights. David, what you got for us?